to station wagon or not station wagon? That is the question on Hits 106 KHQ. Ready for KHQ listener courts? Our first case is right now on 106 KHQ. That's right. I never thought I'd have this discussion, but Jeff and I were driving from the Grand Traverse Mall yesterday in anticipation of our super awesome party at Robbie's tonight. And Jeff spotted a station wagon to which he said, man, I should get one. 106 KHQ Listener Court. Get ready. Court will come to order. Your opening statement, please. Here's our first case right now. Now. I'm all down for, you know, a van. I'm all down for a sports car. I'm all down for a motorcycle. I'm even down for a trike. A station wagon, I am not. A station wagon is an abomination. They're boxy. They're smelly. They're metally. They're not cool. And as a matter of fact, I'd like to turn it over really quickly to a friend of mine, Brittany, uh, and just get her initial thoughts on the station wagon. Give us the lowdown on the station wagon. Do you agree with me that they are uh, obsolete, stupid, and no bueno? I hate them. I always have. <laughs> they're just, they're ugly. They're boxy. They're, they're not cool. I've never seen someone in I a... I drive st- a sports car, so... Yeah. When you see a, a guy or a gal in a station wagon, what do you say? Ew. 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 All right. Ew. All right. Well, ew. Yeah, hear that? Ew. 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 When you see a station wagon, ew, they might fit the family, but you can get a different, a sport utility vehicle. So when you're calling 231-947-1106 and you're voting yay or nay on station wagon, just remember, ew. You've heard one side. Time for the other. More Listener Court next on 106 KHQ. They're not cool. They're not fun. They guzzle gas. They smell. Did you already have They're boxy? You already have There's, your time it's a on the station wagon. Everybody doesn't. Nobody likes the station wagon. About the station wagon, you already had your time. Two three one nine four seven one one zero six. Station wagons or no station wagons on hits one zero six KHQ. They're not a status symbol. They're ugly. They're just gross. I mean, you know, I don't understand why people have a love affair with station wagons. Okay, wagon. all right, I, you look, had your vote. I, you you did your thing. I, but, You're working I, your I, vote. I, oh, you heard one side. Now it's time to hear the other. Be seated. KHQ Listener Court continues now. Rizzo and his uh, hate for the station wagon. I want you to picture this. He said he'd rather be a van guy. Could you imagine Rizzo rolling up to you, ladies? First, let's start with him rolling up to you in a van. You don't know him. And he says, hey, what's up, girl? A guy in a van. What would you do? You'd run away. But if he rolls up to you in a station wagon and says, hey, what's up? It's, you know, you would go, oh, sure, I'll help you with directions, right? So, uh... Station wagons are coming back. They're going to be a status symbol again. And you could jump the gun on it and be the one that gets the sleek, cool station wagon. When we think station wagon, we think old, boxy, and crazy, right? Station wagons are changing. And let me take you down memory lane. Remember those good times you had in that station wagon? No. Grandma. No. Grandpa. The family trips that you would take. No. You're sitting in the back. The joy. The laugh. No. The fun. The family, everything that encompassed the station wagon, that's what we need back in Uh, these horrible times. The station wagon could bring joy back to your life. No! You've heard both sides. Now it's time to decide. Five calls say it all. 231-947-1106. Hits 106 KHQ. Do you love the station wagon or are you a normal person and think, ew, ugly and boxy? I can't even believe. What did you just say? Go to Heather for the vote. Oh my gosh, fine. Heather, hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Station wagons. That's a big uh, no for me, oh. but the only the only caveat to that would be is if you're buying your child your first car. Uh, it's good to keep them humble, you know? Okay, you humble okay, them with okay. a wagon. <laughs> time out, time yeah. out, time out. Uh, you, you, first off, you can't use humble wagons, okay? Uh, because, <laughs> okay, humble wagons are not part of this discussion, so we're going to count that as a no because they're ugly and yucky, correct? And yeah, it's a car that a that. kid would be embarrassed to drive as right. well. Could you, what would, what, what, what in I the world would, would your kid have done to you that you would have to put him in a humble wagon? I would own that wagon, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm there. I'll, not, I'll put a, nothing that they've done to me is just, 
you want something that's safe and inexpensive, and, you know, it's a good option. Hey, listen, you know what? If they're misbehaving, you can get them a station wagon. The kids will beat them up for you. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Oh, yeah, then good one. It's, All right, Heather. Parenting is done for you. Heather, thank you so much yeah. for your vote, okay? You're welcome. Have a great day. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. A vote of confidence now. We have uh, Nozel. Uh, Moselle, Moselle, right? Mo- Moselle. It's Moselle, yeah. yes. Yes, so Moselle, station wagons. Yes. Yes, yes baby, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Yes, uh, meaning yes, we're talking about them, or yes, you love them? I love them. Oh, why? Tell them, Moselle, why? baby. Tell them. It was my first car. Um, my friends loved it. I could take them all in my car. It was a hand-me-down from my parents. <sighs> Everyone loved it. I loved it. Mo- we could camp in it. A hand-me-down oh. wagon? Moselle, tell yes, me. Yes, my first car. Oh. Mo- Moselle, you piled everybody in. You went out on a Friday night, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I know, Moselle. I'm, I'm telling you. I am I am disappointed. Huh? A, ha- <laughs> a hand-me-down <laughs> wagon. It's okay. It's okay. You have a happy Thanksgiving anyway. <laughs> you too. All right. Fine. We're tied 1-1 on the wagon. Are you for it or not? It's a 206 KHQ. Wake up in the morning. Mornings never sounded better. Wake up. Wake up. The 106 KHQ Morning Show with Rizzo. It's 106 KHQ. All right. He calls every week. He's always got to open his big mouth. I'm sure he's going to love it. Station wagons, Maury. What do you think, huh? You better believe I, I got to love it. You better believe it. it. I knew it. Of course. Oh, why? Why? The hearse is not a wagon, Maury. Oh, the hearse is a wagon. <sighs> it is nothing more than a big wagon. Is it? Yeah, but, but, I mean, think about it. 57 Chevy wagon. The Nomad. Coolest wagon ever made. You got the... Subarus, uh, they have the uh, the Outback wagon, all wheel drive, take it anywhere. Okay, you I, can't, you're no. naming all these wagons, right, man. Right. I mean, you can't. First off, I get the Chevy wagon. That was like a status symbol back in the day. That's when wagons were cool. But you can't come at me with a Subaru. Who drives a Subaru wagon? Nobody. Yes. Everybody, Everybody up here in northern Michigan. Have wagon. you? <laughs> you are fighting to the death I, on this I, one, I, huh? So what you're telling me is you're voting for Jeff. Wagons are cool. Not only yes, but oh hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pick me up yeah. in yours, Heck yes. Jeff. Oh, great, you Maury. Got it. Yeah, oh, thanks, Maury. Get out of here. <sighs> okay. So right now, there's two votes for you, Jeff. Yes. One vote for me. There's got to be somebody in this world who agrees with me. Lisa, do you agree with me about the wagon? No, I've owned two of them. Oh, yeah. You would own a wagon. Oh, right. I love you more. <laughs> All right, fine. All right, fine. <laughs> Lynette, how are you? I'm good. Everybody actually calls me Lonnie. Oh, Lonnie. All right, Lonnie. Tell me your station wagon feelings. Well, my my mom had one when we were children, and we lived down in Flint, and we used to take it to the drive-in all the time. Yeah. And of course, we'd all sit on the top or open up the back, and mom would back it in, and we'd all. It was just some really good memories. So is this? Yeah. Uh, so are we? So are we are. going for station wagon then? Yes, sir. Oh, Lonnie. yes. Lonnie. Lonnie. Lonnie, you have, just won, Lonnie. you have just won listener court for Jeff. Lonnie. See, what well, it but, is. But is, it, no, is it your good memories that, that make you love the wagon, or do you really like the wagon? Because, I mean, a good memory is nice, Lonnie, but, but are you willing to throw listener court away because of a good memory, or do you love the wagon? I love the wagon. Oh, Lonnie! Lonnie! <laughs> and I love you, Lonnie. Thank you so much. By the way, he always you're throws... Welcome. You... Yeah, yeah, he always says that you're uh, you're welcome in his wagon, but he's going to charge you gas money, okay? Okay, so right. good. You know, I just throw me Have a 10 spot. Guys. Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm disappointed and uh, disgusted that uh, I lost listener court in such a swift manner. It's Rizzo, Jeff, and Lisa. The 106 KHQ Morning Show on Hits 106 KHQ. As it happens with all quality radio. We want to talk station wagons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Listener Court was a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, I uh, thought that Listener Court should have ended with a win for me that station wagons are not only ugly, but befuddling. And I don't understand why people love the wagon. And, you know, for people that are just uh, joining the show right now, I would love for you to call in and explain to Rizzo that you are for the wagon and no. how, you know, how great the station wagon is. It's practical. But is it is it practical? It, uh, it's, 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 it's coming, gas guzzler? It, it's coming back. It's a, you know, it's it's status. 
You know, it's, what is the, what's the status? Hi, I ha- I have a, a half of a job. It brings back I don't, great I, memories. It's roomy. I have shoes that talk. When you pull up in a wagon, people are looking at you. I haven't eaten right. anything but Easy Max since the sixties. People are looking. <laughs> what at is you? the status? People are looking at you when you pull up in a wagon. When you go to valet that wagon, I, valet are, the pe- wagon. People are going yo. You know, we're going to bow. You know, they're the, going yo the when people, you valet the wagon. The valet guy's moving the Lamborghini and he's back in your car in. Right. To the trash dumpster. Right. The trash compactor. Right. Brad, <laughs> station wagons, man. What do you think? Depends on the year. If you're talking 55 to 57 Chevy Nomad, all for it. If you're talking, you know, the 70s, 80s, big boats, no way. Oh, okay. So you're, you're, you're a wagon guy, but it's got to be the right wagon. Yeah, it's got to be old school. Okay. Yeah, okay. you know, Brad, I, you know, I don't think we could take it as a vote. I mean, we're talking, you know, wagon. I don't hear the. Can. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. so, so, see, you're, you're kind of on the fence about the wagon, huh? If it's the old, like I said, the old, you know, right. '57 Chevy Nomad, you know, with the fins off the back. Okay. All right. All right. We're not hot rodding here. Well, well, right. Hey, this is a uh, very helpful and insightful call about wagons. All right, <laughs> Janine, the wagon. What do you think? I am for a wagon, actually. Whoa. Yeah, talk it. Wow. Preach it. Why is that? <sighs> well, for one thing, you're forgetting about, let's say, the Chevy Nomad. Best wagon ever. Okay, I, I agree. It, you got one wagon. It's like a one-hit wonder. Uh, well, you, it's, know, you know, it's it's those people who sang that no, song, I will walk 500 wrong. miles. It's a wagon. One wagon. There was Woody. Everybody knew Woody, all right, where it had the wood on the sides. Oh, Woody on. was there. That was, that was a nice wagon. There, See, there, you don't, you can't just, you know, get rid of the whole bunch over a few bad ones. Right. Uh, so you can't just love all of them because of one good wagon. It's not a good I don't not, love all of them, but... But there, I'm just saying there are some really good ones. So what you're telling me is that you're voting for the wagons because there are. I am. I have to go against. <sighs> I have to go against you on this one. Glad to have you in the back seat of my wagon. Oh I my take God. you anywhere. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All have right. a good day, guys. Right, yo, by the way, he'll ask you for gas money. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. It's Rizzo, Jeff, and Lisa. The 106 KHQ Morning Show on Hits 106 KHQ. There is a wagon clan in northern Michigan. I did not know. Oh, yeah. That there is a wagon clan in northern Michigan. Well, obviously, before our listener court, you didn't do your research. Uh, okay. Befuddling, to say the least, bamboozling, lackadaisical, whimsical. I don't know how to describe it other than uh, pish posh. You should have did a little Angela Lansbury before we went on here yeah. and, 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 you know, did a little investigation. Do you love the wagon? Do you support the wagon? Are you in for the wagon. So what? You got a convincing win on Listener Court because of nostalgia, Jeff. It's not because the station wagon is a cool wagon. Lisa voted for you even though it didn't count because she used to have the wagon. Hey, she knew what she was doing. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Well, let's just do this. Let's just let's ask people's opinion on the station wagon because I'm convinced people agree with me okay. even though you won. KHQ, Anthony, what's up, man? Hey, how's it going, guys? All right, your thoughts on the wagon. I am all for it, and here's why. <sighs> And this is this is something that I think most people have not paid attention to. If you take a look at your Michigan vehicle registration, if you have an SUV or a crossover SUV at all, the state of Michigan classifies it as a station wagon. Mm. So you're a wagon already without even knowing it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Like I have a GMC Acadia, and I... So I'm a full-hearted believer that that is an SUV, but according to the state of Michigan... It's a wagon. Yeah. It's a wow. wagon. I love this state. And, yeah, yeah. Do you? Yeah. This state I mean, sucks. Yeah. God, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's get one more in here quickly. We have Tasta. Tasta, good morning. Hi, good morning. Oh, great. You sound excited. Does that mean you hate wagons? Yes, I think they're butt ugly. Yes. Oh, you went butt ugly. Oh, you, bugly. They are so gross. They are. I hate them. Me too. <laughs> gross. They are. I, they're just boxy and weird. They are. They're much like a minivan to me. I will not be caught dad driving one. Let me ask you, what if a man comes up and goes, hey, come for a ride in my wagon? Absolutely not. Yep. That's right. That's oh, right. Tessa. That's right. Why are you doing this I'm to sorry. us? I'm sorry. I hate them. No, <laughs> listen, right. that's okay. I love you, so that does not matter what anyone says, okay? I got your back. You got it? 
perfect. Yeah, I got yours too. Oh, oh you. look oh, at that. What a, what a connection. Hey, listen, I thanks for your this. call this morning. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. All, All right. right. Station wagons. <laughs> wow. 6 KHQ. The most talked about morning show in northern Michigan. It's the 106 KHQ Morning Show with.